And so we're really going through a very difficult time. It says something about an economy where there's more cars parked in the Goodwill than, than there are cars at Slumberland. I've come from a past of financial services, so I'm no dummy about money. I'm no dummy about spending or income, but I'm caught in a web. I've been looking originally for teaching jobs, but because of the cuts to education, what I'm being told is we'd love to hire you, but we have to figure out who to get rid of. You know, I've been out of work for, for too long. I've been working since I was 12 years old, and it's not that I don't want to work. It's not that I'm lazy. It's not that I'm any of the labels that people often throw at persons like myself. I think that um, something is definitely wrong with our system. It's not working for the people who, um, who are really diligently want to work at any means necessary. The government does have a role in creating jobs. Uh, if they pass a bonding bill, then construction workers will go back to work. And when construction workers go back to work, they spend money. Employers then hire more people. And that relieves the pressure off of uh, you know, the unemployment. If they're not creating jobs, they're creating social policy. They're not right now focusing on jobs. They're focusing on cutting spending. They're focusing on um, uh, taxes. And they're focusing on making you know, life easier for a certain segment of people. And, and they're focusing on social issues. They're focusing on uh, gay marriage. They're focusing on um, voter ID. But none of those help jobs. None of those affect the job situation and they need to be focusing on jobs right now.